I think Cindy Lauper's music specifically oh, it's amazing. Has, has been iconic across, you know, generations. I think it's something new. I mean, to be honest with you, everything nowadays seems like it's Disney and, and stuff we've heard before. She's and, married musical theater and pop music together. Yeah, and, and then best of both worlds. When musical theater all began, the songs of musical theater and Broadway used to play on the radio. You know, it's the music of a generation. So I think that now, as the art form is growing and as times are changing, the reason why music, musicals like Cyndi Lauper's and Duncan Sheik's are resounding, resonating with the new generation is because this is our music, it's what we relate to. She, you know, she knows how to tell a good story in, in a real catchy tune. She's yeah. done it a lot and yeah, she did it again for this for sure. Her music is amazing and the arrangements uh, are, are amazing. Uh, but, it, but she also wrote the lyrics mm -hmm. and so she has that ability to move the story along. As a community, I think Broadway needs to challenge itself more and more and more to stick to new work and to stick to new art and to take a, take a shot with somebody who's iconic like Cindy, who's never worked in Broadway theater before, and to give her a shot to write something like this, I think is wonderful, and obviously it worked out because the score she wrote is amazing. Pop music has found its way into musical theater, and it's really, it's, it's drawing in an audience of people that have never been interested in musical theater before, and I actually think that's really great, because the more people we can get to the theater, you know, the better this, the arts will do. If you look back when Rent came out, that was all brand new, and that was unheard of. And that music is some of the most popular ever in musical theater history. Avenue Q, a lot of these shows. And people walk out of Kinky Boots able to sing the choruses and tapping their feet, and they remember the story. And um, I think that is what makes the show so addictive. Oh,